Well, I think it's a you know it's a new technology when applied at this sort of massive scale. It, it, if you're in the hearings there, some of the pro drillers are talking about drilling going back uh, 50, 60 years with hydrofracking, but they're talking about a very different technology. It's a small scale, small volumes. Uh, the, the, the technology that's being proposed now, the slick water, high volume, horizontal drilling, uh, uses massive amounts of water. Uh, it's a new technology. It's relatively untested uh, much of anywhere, and I, I think there's an awful lot of work that needs to be done before I'd want to see it uh, anywhere near my farm. Do you think that hydraulic fracturing is going to affect the landscape in upstate New York at all? Well, sure. I mean, it's, it's a big industrial scale activity. It's uh, uh, a lot of disturbance of the landscape, uh, the rigs are noisy, a lot of 24-7 uh, activity with lights and noise. Uh, a lot of truck traffic. It, it's a big disturbance of that sort. Uh, but beyond that, you know, it, it, it's a lot of toxic stuff. Uh, air pollution, water pollution should be a big concern. And one of my personal worries is that it may actually aggravate global climate change as opposed to helping. Uh, what's your profession or how do you know these things? Oh, I'm, I'm a uh, biogeochemist, an ecologist. I work at Cornell. I've uh, worked on oil and gas uh, effects on water quality for about uh, 34 years and I've worked on global climate change issues for about uh, 31 years. Do you think that the claims that people are stating about the economic, the pros about economic development regarding gas drilling have any merit at all? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not an economist. I, I have a personal opinion, but I like professionally to stick to, to what I know professionally. I, I will say I'm a member of a group called the Council of Scientific Society Presidents. It's an umbrella group. We represent 1.4 million scientists in the United States from 150 different disciplines, including economics, including geology, as well as my own discipline. Uh, I chair, I co-chair the uh, Committee on Energy and Environment of that group, and we've been looking closely at uh, Marcellus Shale and some other issues, and the, the group unanimously adopted a position paper in the spring saying that there is not an adequate science basis to support going ahead with Marcellus Shale. We, we worry it may aggravate global change. It's a statement from this large group.